Hey guys, it's me Elizabeth. Um, today I'm going to show you guys um, my full palette collection. There may be a few that I'm missing. If you see a line. Excuse my family. So first I'm gonna start with my Morphe palettes. Um, I love my Morphe palettes. Um, I actually got them on sale, most of them on sale um, from Hot Look and they have occasionally a sale on Morphe brushes and their palettes, like a really, really good sale. I'm not sure exactly how much um, the palettes are discounted, but I got mine for about like $15 to like 19 I think that that's still a really good deal for these palettes especially how um, with how big they are and the quality of the palettes I'll link the website I think I don't know if it's a website Hot look um, or I think that it's just an app but I'm not sure so I'll check and I'll leave it down below so this is the 35n palette it just has all neutrals, and you can see I hit pan on this one. I use this one for my base a lot of the time. But I really, really love this palette. I use it almost every single day. It's just a great, like, basics palette, and I would really um, recommend this one for beginners just because it is, even if you don't get it on Hot Look um, on sale, they're still really, really inexpensive. So they're usually around, like, $20 or a little bit more than that, um, but they're really, really worth it. This one is the 35E palette, and I love this palette. I use this one every day. Um, these are the shimmer ones, one of their shimmer palettes, and these are all extremely shimmery, and if I want um, a little bit more shimmer to them, um, more metallic-y almost. I'll just add some Fix Plus on them and they work great, but even without Fix Plus or any primer, they're still so amazing. Okay, so my next Morphe palette is the 35B palette, and this is a mixture of some shimmer shades and some um, matte shades. It's, I think that there's more, there's a lot more matte shades than shimmer shades. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six shimmer shades and the rest are all matte, or seven. Seven shimmer shades and the rest are all matte. And the pigmentation on the next is the 35C palette. And these are all matte shades. And these have just the same amount of pigmentation as the palettes before. Next from Morphe, I have a an eyebrow palette. And I think... I don't know if they have more than one eyebrow palette, but this is just mine. Now, I've never really used the wax, um, so it kind of looks gross, but I've never used it before. It's just... Um, anyways, so this is the brow palette. I love this palette because I use it when I do other people's makeup. Um, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow on my eyebrows because I just feel like it stays a lot better for someone like me who I don't have any eyebrows at all. So powder doesn't really stay as much like this is waterproof and stays on all day long. I don't have to do anything, so it's really nice. Um, but this I like because, again, it's very inexpensive and it has almost every shade, you know, for anyone's different colored eyebrows. Hold on, I'm like cutting out part of my chin. Again, is a Morphe palette. Um, this one, this one doesn't have a sticker. 
I'm not sure if it fell off or it just didn't have one, but this is a bronzer palette. And once again, I use this on other people mostly. And if you're trying to look for products that are very good quality to put in your makeup kits, um, these are really great, Morphe, because they have a lot of, um, they're really thin and they have a variety of just different, like they have blush palettes, they have all sorts of things, and they're all really great quality for the price. So those are all my Morphe, my Morphe palettes. Um, next, I have a Tarte palette. This is, I use this palette every day also. Um, this is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. So it just looks like this on the front. And this is a really good, like, everyday kit. A really good everyday kit. It has a few shimmers, and the rest are matte. And I like it because you can use, like, these three together and make a look with this on your lids. Or, you know, like, they don't just have, like, random colors. There's no, like, just random pops of colors. Like, I feel like I use every single color in here quite frequently so it's like a really good um just everyday palette if you're someone who doesn't really like you know doing makeup necessarily or someone who's just a beginner or you don't want to have to have a ton of makeup this is just a really great standard palette to have next oh my gosh i'm in love with this palette someone sent me this and i love this palette this is the Smashbox Art Love Color Masterclass Palette. It has such a long name. And it just flips open like this. It says Smashbox here. Oh, I'm pinching my finger. And then on the inside, these are all the shades. And I love this palette. One, it's just it's so pretty and two it just has every you know it has your neutrals it has your warm tones it has your pops of color and so i feel like you could do really anything with this palette sorry about the glare you can see out the window but um or the reflection from the window but i like how they have like ranges like light purple and, you know, they have, like, a shade of, like, purple tones. They have a shade, like, blues. More, like, orangey, warm tone colors. They have pinks, greens. I just really like this palette a lot. Next, I have the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Just the first one. And I'm sure that most of you guys know what this one looks like. But this is the palette. And I mean, it's a naked palette. I mean, I'm, everyone kind of knows that naked palettes are like great, um, especially for beginners. This was one of my first palettes and I use this. I used to use this almost every single day. You can create night looks out of this, day looks. Um, they have some purple tones. They have the best. Okay, can we talk about Half Baked, the shade Half Baked in here because it is the best gold, just standard gold color, like, ever. It's it's just gorgeous. Um, next, I have the Naked 3, the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And that's just what it looks like. I love this more in, like, the springtime. Um, I go for more, like golden warm tone looks during the summer and it's already so hot where I live so I'm pretty much summer so I don't use this one much right now. Next I have a contour kit. By the way I'm just doing this by random like I have my bag that I filled up with all my palettes right next to me. Um, so I'm not doing this, like, in any sort of order. Um, so, yeah. This is the Anastasia Contour Kit. 
in light to medium, and this is the powder version. Just looks like this. This shade is great. And this does, so, these two shades do such a great job at highlighting. I don't really use, or no, not these two, these two. I don't really use this one very much. This is like their shimmery highlight. And if you can tell, it's pretty much matte. Hold on. It's pretty much matte. Like there's really no, not that much shimmer in it at all. Um, next, I have this MAC palette. And I actually, I don't have the names of each of these shades. Um, but this is what it looks like. I honestly reach for my Morphe palettes more than I reach for my MAC palettes. I know that that's kind of crazy because you would think like MAC, you know. And next, I have the Lips Bobbi Brown University palette. And I like this palette a lot because you can really make you can really make like any um, any shade with this. Um, I like to mix these colors and there, I think there's only these two bottom ones right here have shimmers in them. This one's very, very light shimmer, um, but the rest of them don't. Next, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in the shade Light. Just looks like that. Next, I have the... The Manizer Sisters palette by The Balm. And okay, so here's the deal with this palette. I got this for Christmas, but I wanted the Mary Luminizer highlighter. And they only had it um, in all three, like this little palette. So I don't really use either of these, to be honest, because these are both very um, shimmery. But if you can tell, I'm almost completely done with this the um, Mary Luminizer. Mary Luminizer highlight is the best, one of the best. I just got one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlight kits, or glow kits, and they are, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, if you want your highlight to be able to be seen from Jupiter, then that's the palette that you need. Add some Fix Plus spray and you can achieve that. Next, I have this, the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. And my good friend, Kaylee, got this for me. And I love it. Shout out to Kaylee if you're watching this. Next, I have this Urban Decay Electric palette. Now, when I talk about pigment, like bright, colorful pigment, I think of this palette. Like, this palette is... It's beautiful. This is what it looks like, and I still have this little mini palette. And this is one's really, really little. Um, this is the City Color Highlight Trio. I got this in an Ipsy. And if you can tell, it's kind of messy. There's like product like all over. Um, but for an inexpensive highlighting palette, this Th these are really, really good um, highlighters. Like, really, really. These are probably one of the best, um, one of the best, like, drugstore highlighters um, that I've ever tried. So they just look like this. There's more of a pink-toned one, which I would always mix these two together, so you can't really tell that it's as pink as it really, um, as it is. But, so there's pink tone, just a normal... Um, more of like a cream tone, and then a gold. Next, I have this adorable little Bobbi Brown palette. Um, it's the Grage, I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Gray, G-R-E-I-G-E, -E. eye palette. And these are just cool tone, um, shadows. Um, I really like this palette. It's really nice if you um, want a, a palette 
for every day to just kind of throw in your bag and take with you. I really like this palette other than, I'm, I don't really necessarily like the two shimmer shades in this palette. I've tried to make them work, but like I just feel like, like I'm like really like covering my finger in this. And they're just very sheer, like I don't know if you can tell on camera, but like when you put them on, like they're they're really like they don't really show up very much like for a shimmer like There's it's nothing, more like m actual color behind than any like shimmer at all like you can tell next to this one like that's like a shimmer shade and this like there's not really it's not really the glitter is really chunky also well the last palette that i have is the anastasia beverly hills glow kit in that glow that's the pink pinker shade one and my brother won't go to my room to find it for me I already did it. I he says it. that he can't find it but i used it this morning so you know but if you want to see that palette i will i posted a picture on my instagram my makeup instagram account and i'll link that down below along with my personal Instagram account, my Twitter, and my Facebook, which has everything that's going on with my, um, all my, like, health updates, my scans, and everything else, all will be on that account. Also, all the stuff that I'm doing with Phoenix Children's, um, I'm supposed to be on the news a few times here in Arizona soon. So everything like that will be on my Facebook page. So if you want to follow that and also my, um, I'm putting together makeup bags for girls at the hospital and all the stuff like that and me partnering with other foundations and all the information like that, all that will be on my Facebook page. Um, I also do I do live streams on there pretty frequently, so go and like that page so you can be a part of you know all of that my live streams, question and answers, stuff like that, um, and all my other social media and everything will be down below. So I'm sorry that I couldn't show you that last kit, but um, I'm actually in a little bit of pain right now, or I'd get up and go get it, but I can't so. Yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Also, if there are any of the palettes that I showed um, that you want me to do a video, specifically doing a look using those palettes, one of those palettes, then just comment down below. Also, if you have a different type of video that you would like to see me make and upload, then I will also put that down below. And I'm planning to do a makeup, a full on makeup collection as soon as I get upstairs to my room because my room is currently downstairs because after I got my surgery, which if you want to know about my surgery, I will leave the link. I made a different video. I will leave that link also down below. But after I got my surgery, um, I had, we moved my room downstairs because my bedroom is currently upstairs. So um, we just kind of put a, in the formal living room, we put up a little curtain. So that's been my room. Um, and we're just kind of trying to get everything situated upstairs so I can move back up there. So once I get that and all my vanity nice and pretty, hopefully very soon I will be able to make a full makeup collection for you guys. But it's just too hard. Everything's in my other room right now. And it would just be too hard to show you all of it. And I'd rather when I can do a vanity tour also um once we get up there and thank you guys so much for watching once again check the link the mm, go to the description box down below and you can see all of my links and social media and everything else also subscribe and like this video thank you guys so much bye